Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 38 degree Monday, the 8th of November. Look at this. This wasn't supposed to be, not that I seen, but it is literally the only nice and dry day of the week. So despite getting the old war wagon fixed, she's gonna get plenty of run time. We're gonna take the Acura today because that'll be the only day this week. Well, that's nice, I didn't even lock it. Perfect, huh? <laughs> Who would steal this thing? Oops. Who would steal this thing anyway, right? All right, we're off. You know, we talk about getting the chance to drive this thing. We did drive it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, now Monday. But it's kind of like sneaking those rides in this time of year. You do it while you can. In the summertime, we just drive it on Fridays just as a as a thing, you know. We used to do that with the FJ and the old uh, Element when those were all the element you guys probably you got to go back in some videos to see that element it was a brand new 07 is that right 07 so. yeah yeah it definitely wasn't 17 wow 07 seems so old and it was so shiny and new <laughs> i know yeah you just don't just don't mention the date yeah yeah it's all fresh here yeah well mama that was an unexpected, very pleasurable ride it to work. It was, it was very nice. Oh, look at her. That was her fingernail polish stuff from yesterday. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving-ish. Yes, fall color-ish. Yeah, well, mama, that daggum Monday then stuck back around I on know. us. It does, it keeps sneaking yeah, on Yeah, now it's the struggle for Friday. Yeah, <laughs> a week of struggle. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, have a wonderful Monday, Mama. You too, Hubba Hub. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. There she is. 21 F3T. Got the fog lights, heater grips, the 660 or five, I keep calling it 660, 590 Zuma. Zuma. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I guess they just blew this thing out of here. You got a smoking deal. That's pretty cool, huh? Liquid titanium. I think it even says that on it somewhere, doesn't it? No? Yeah? Oh, it did. His GPS and stuff is all in the trunk. Comes with car stuff so you can Use it in your automobile too. It's all in a saddlebag, all his extras. Uh, dang. Well, look at this. It's about quarter to five out here. Sunset is like 445. Well, it's already that. That's just what's left in the skies. Sure is beautiful though. gonna come out here earlier and show you the snow-capped mountains but that was hell I was uh busy getting the, that spider done it's beautiful out here windy as holy heck let's go gather up the woman let's go home well mama this is our first dark ride home first first time leaving after sunset and it's mostly clear skies yeah. tomorrow if it's rainy it'll just it'll just be dark, it'll be dark yeah <laughs> it gets dark quick it does so how'd your day go you went fine how that's good yours? it was good good i was busy doing stuff i got that uh f3t with all the accessories on there i got Ooh, that done nice. it's a few well as you know some parts snafus wrong stuff and well, it wasn't wrong, it just wasn't including everything. Yeah, you did the one that had everything. Yeah, and then I had issues with some GPS mount screws that, well, I just learned something on them. I didn't need the longer screws. Oh. Dang, coming. 
spent about an hour sorting this thing out and, oh, that's and didn't have to do anything. But anyway, let's roll. All right. All right. So we've been been home for almost two hours. My sister sent me a box of pictures and little memorabilia bilia stuff um, from my parents and just literally sent me in a time warp. A couple of things, I don't totally remember where the tomahawk came from. I just remember always, always having it. I think my granddad got it from somewhere. And I'm sure he had some crazy story about it. Kelly goes, you sure you didn't make that? I said, no, I wouldn't have. As a kid, I wouldn't have gone to that kind of detail. You know, with the leather straps and stuff. But when I was a kid and we were living in Georgetown, South Carolina, um, my grandfather died, who I never got to meet. Nor my grandmother, you know, on my mom's side, because she died well before I was born. My mom was still in high school, I believe. But uh, anyway, when when he passed away, when she came back, she brought me um, shillelagh, I think is what it's called, back from Ireland. I remember she said, it's a policeman's nightstick. I think she called from New York or something because um, my aunt, her twin sister, lived in New York at the time. I think she called. She goes, I'm bringing you something really cool. It's an Irish police stick. But uh, a shillelagh, I don't think, is actually uh, from Irish descent, but it's very popular in Irish folklore, you know. But, man, I have not seen this thing Good Lord, in probably 40 years. Didn't even know it still existed. That's crazy. And then, in uh, some of the pictures, this is a bunch of you know, personal pictures, but there's a couple here I, I want to show you. So I'm going to switch into a um, um, super wide angle because I can zoom in really, really tight on that. So hang tight. So this is the iPhone 13 super wide lens. But look at this. I think this was on our house. I'm pretty sure this is 18 Lanshire Drive. I when I went to Texas for the the parade for the world record. Look at the Kenworth model box. Man, the models I made as a kid. But man, I'm just a wee little guy. But I stopped you by that place, and I told you my dad and I. Planned those trees and we rode, drove down the alley. I was on the 2019 Road King down there in Texarkana, Texas. I'm pretty sure this is in this house. There was a playroom in this back room and I wanted my own room. So I ended up with a little cot back there in that back room. But there was a door. This, I think I want to say this was like a sliding glass door that went out in the patio. And this way was the door that went out into the garage. But look at my... Proudly showing the, the the current collection of models. I used to build models like crazy. But here's obviously a Christmas morning photo. You know what's odd is I still have that shoe polish box right there. But I'm obviously looking at instructions for something. I think that's one of those Cox airplane. I'm almost positive. You remember the little planes and you flew them you just flew them in a circle and they flew around had the little cox um airplane engine in it but what's interesting here is that's the a new set of tires for my harley davidson x90 i remember putting those tires on there as a kid and it was shortly after I told you the story when I was there in Texas. I, I was sitting at the end of that alley and I said I shot down there and this lady pulled out in front of me and I hit her and went flying across her hood. Um, it was shortly after I put those tires on is when that happened. Now, I don't know. That's a bunch of stuff back there. I don't know whose bicycle. It was Christmas. Who's to say what it was? 
But that's inside that house in Texarkana in the 70s. And my sister, uh, there's not a picture of her in this, but I've never seen this picture before. But this is at my sister's wedding. That's my younger brother, Russell, is my dad. And I don't know who that is in the hat in the background, but, but that's Sonia and I, or uh, Kelly and I right there. Look how young and cute we were. That little old Kelly. She's still my little honey all these years later. And I think, I'm pretty sure my sister got married. In fact, I know she did. She got married before Kelly and I did. And that's something. It's weird. It's a bunch of pictures of my dad and, and all these photos. And I have the actual, my actual birth certificate is in there. And, you know, they used to roll you out in the little tub and, you know, you were in there with the other babies. And the little tag that hangs off the little kind of a tub crib like thing, you know, how they did in the old days. And um, the little tag that hangs on there, I have the tag for that. And um, I've got my, when I was baptized, you know, just shy of a month later. And um, I was born November 19th and then on December 8th, I believe it was, is when I was baptized. And I got my... Uh, my first confession and all kinds of cool stuff that she's she's drug up. My sister. Some of that stuff I've never seen before. I've never seen my actual birth certificate. I mean, you you got the one that, you know, is the official one you have. But this is the the real Faraja D, my foot, feet print on the back and my mom and dad's, you know, uh, uh, fingerprint. Looks like a thumbprint or something like that. Shillelagh and Tomahawk. I don't know when when I acquired it. I just remember it being around for a very, very long time. I mean, literally, I thought this stuff was gone. I thought because we had a storage thing. We moved from uh, Portland to Texarkana. Um, we didn't have a place to stay at first. I was staying with my, with my friend who I went and visited. Remember at that? at the party factory and I was gone for a long time. Me and I said, I come back. I said, I've been gone for four hours. I need to get back to uh, Paris, Texas. But, um, I was hanging out with him and, uh, well, I lost the story. I was going to tell you. Oh, I completely lost the story. I was, I had something in, in mind. Hmm. I don't recall. Huh? Old age, man. I got so many things swimming through my head. That's weird. I was thinking it was something in Texarkana. I, I don't remember what it was. I was about to tell you a story about being there, but anyway. I, I drove you past this house. That was the first house. Remember, I went, um, yeah, I went to this one first, and then we went to the second house that my parents built, and the whole front lawn just was almost in developed with trees it it was a I, don't, I forget how big the lot was but anyway i showed you both of those houses in texarkana I even showed you the apartments oh yeah <laughs> nothing here let me switch the lenses here hold on there were some pictures that i printed off of all of us the whole family because you know this is the first time since i had kids you know, all the kids were born when we moved to uh, texas so we were gone you know you're always visiting your parents you know so I would take a lot of pictures and print them off and send them to them. Well, there's this one that's in, you know, those clear uh, little slips that like a three ring binder binder would hold. So it's a, you know, so it's like a eight and a half by 11 size printout. Well, one of them's on the back porch of that house. Remember, I stopped at the one house and said, this was our house. And I said, God, it looks all run down. Didn't look like anybody's done anything to it in the last 20 some odd years since we moved away and came back to the Northwest. And uh, anyway, it's the back, we're in the back patio of that. And I look up and there's a clock sitting there on the back patio. It was a family picture that I sent to my parents. And my sister ended up with it because, you know, she went through all of their stuff. And of course, my mom lived with her 
you know, for years after my dad passed. But uh, anyway, in the back, sitting on the wall, is that clock, that very clock. And Kelly goes, good Lord, you don't ever get rid of anything. I said, if it ain't broke, why get rid of it? So anyway, wow, I did not see the day turning out to be this. I seen something was coming, coming and I guess my sister talked to to uh, Kelly, and she said something about she was going to send something. Well, I think Kelly forgot. I said, something's coming to the house. But we get home. Good thing it wasn't pouring down rain, and the U USPS just dropped it off in the patio over there next to the old war wagon out there. So uh, when it pours really hard because it, that thing sloped, you can see it sloped in here. Well, you can't tell because the car's in the way. But this, this floor is at a slight angle, too. You know, you can pour a cup of water on the ground, and it slowly creeps and goes out. Whoever built this was uh, kind of smart that way. <laughs> anyway, let me grab the little woman here, and we'll do a quick goodbye. Major, major rush down memory lane. I mean, things from being a kid that I completely forgot about. I can't remember what I was going to tell you about my friend Alan in in Texas. <laughs> it's weird. I just I had something going there in my head, but whatever. I'll think about it some other time. We'll talk about it. But anyway, I'm going to roll. Well, hello there, you two. Holy moly. Didn't expect to go down memory lane like that. That's cool. I opened that box. Oh, golly. <laughs> that was cool. Man, it's crazy the things that you remember. Things you haven't thought about in the longest time. Oh, yeah. And the fondest memory of those things, you know? Mm. That's, That's some nice. good stuff, boy. Seeing the kids in there. I know. Younger, there's a whole bunch of, there's all kinds of stuff in there. That was really cool. But um, if you guys like that kind of thing, we could piddle around with more. That just will be raining all the time here for a while anyway. Maybe we yeah. could conjure up. If you guys like that kind of thing. We can do that. Maybe Kelly and I can sit down and talk about a thing. Because, you know, you get two people going, uh, one's going to remember more than the other or remember something different. Or, that's always cool, too. Yeah, it is. So you get with old friends, you talk about old times, and they remember something you had long forgot about. And you go, oh, I remember that. Yeah. I forgot all about that. But that was a lot of fun. Got that F3TE done today. That was good. Forgot about the clocks being wrong, so I fixed that at the last minute. Oh, Thought it was later. Good. Told Kelly, I said, if I come up early, send me back down. <laughs> <laughs> do that. I always do it in the fall. Yeah. But anyway, I think on that, we're going to roll out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. Alrighty. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. <laughs>